Proud. Morning, Snapper. What's going on? My girlfriend here, Robin, is just about to send out her weekly newsletter to her subscribers on her blog. Go and check this out. If this kind of thing resonates with you, I highly recommend going and subscribing. Obviously, it's free. Um, she does affirmations of the week that you can download. She does recipe of the week. Recipe usually comes with the video version and the written version. It's always healthy. It's always whole food. It's always shit hot. This is usually what we eat for dinner during the week. And there's typically a feature article. This week it's on self-awareness and self-love. So there's a blog post about that. Heaps of applicable content to read through. Then what you've missed during the week. More videos, more posts. We've got the student submitted stuff. Man, there's a lot of content in here. It's really good. It's an awesome newsletter. The theme for Robin's sort of teachings, the theme for her blog stuff is health, mindset, purpose. The theme from her book is health, mindset, purpose. So if you're in a position where you need some work on your health and your mindset and your purpose, and a lot of you guys reach out to me with that, but you don't have money yet to invest in a coach or a mentor, then start free. Start small and start free. Get a subscribe to Robin's newsletter or something like that that gives you free content. You just change one thing a week. Yesterday I was speaking to one of my coaching clients in New Jersey and I was telling him how important it is to read and how you can do one thing this week to completely change your life. It completely blows my socks off how many people don't read. No one, no one reads books, like proper educational books. It's crazy. It blows my socks off too. <laughs> if you don't read, then you're at no advantage over someone who can't read. If you, don't, if you deliberately don't go and buy books to grow yourself, then you may as well not be able to read. Okay, I can see myself going off on a big tangent. Let's turn this motherfucker into a mini lesson. Here we go. Do this this week. Step one, go on to Amazon.com, buy one of these guys. They're about 20 bucks. It's a Bluetooth shower speaker. It's waterproof. You just suction cap it to your water. Step two, go to Audible.com and get a subscription. I don't know what it costs. It's like 15 bucks a month, I think I pay. It's ridiculous. Get a subscription. Step three, get a list of books. If you have no idea what books to read, you can start here. It's the Infinite Prosperity book list. You can find it at books. Dot infiniteprosperity.com. Step four, every time you have a shower in the morning or the night or just the morning or just the night, put your book on. Listen to your book while you're getting ready. Assuming you are the busiest human being on earth and you can spare zero minutes a day besides just your shower time, here's what that looks like. Just 15 minutes a day every day divided by 60, you've got yourself 91 and a quarter hours of reading time every single year. Considering your runtime is approximately 8 hours a book, we're looking at 10 to 15 books a year just from harnessing shower time better. I mean, one book can completely change your life, completely change your course in life, completely change your destiny. One book, 10 to 15, you're doing 10 to 15 books a year, you're a different person in a year's time. 10 to 15 books can really uproot your entire life, not to mention fulfillment. Fulfillment is rooted in growth. Whenever you're not growing, whenever you're stagnating, you, your fulfillment will drop through the floor. Uh, when you're growing, you'll be fulfilled more. That's why you hear people say a certain bank balance isn't going to make you happy and fulfilled. A certain lifestyle, a certain toys or trinkets, is not going to make you happy or fulfilled. But relative growth and contraction can. They are absolutely linked to your happiness and your fulfillment. They can make a big difference. It's the same as acceleration versus speed. Who knows that you can be in a jet, where the fuck's a jet plane? You can be in, a, there'll be one over there, you can be in a jet doing a thousand kilometers an hour. You can be relaxed and watching a movie and having a feed and getting plastered on the free alcohol and trying to flirt with the hot ass air hostess and it doesn't feel like you're going anywhere. But if you get yourself on a Lamborghini on the ground and you launch off the traffic lights, it throws you back in the seat and the noise and the sound and the wind and the commotion. There's one. In the car, you might only get to one-tenth of the speed as you would in the jet, but you bloody well feel it in the car. You feel it because we feel the rate of change. Whatever level we get to in life, whatever speed we travel at in life, we acclimatize to it. That becomes our norm. But the rate of growth, we never acclimatize to. You could be homeless, living under a bridge, but you could be growing every single day and building your fulfillment and happiness. At the same time, you could be a billionaire, stagnating, going backwards and not fulfilled. If you've read Money, Master the Game by Tony Robbins, you'll know there's a billionaire in there who killed himself because he was stagnating, made a couple of crook decisions, was moving backwards, killed himself. It's never ever ever the speed we're traveling at. It's got nothing to do with it. It's our acceleration and our direction of acceleration. How fast are we growing? And the best insurance against not growing, against stagnating, read every single day.
snap. I just got back from the gym. Robin's still asleep. 